In this lesson, we will show you how to use the native FTP clients that are in all Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7 uh, operating systems. Right now, I'm going to use it through Internet Explorer 8. This is also available in Internet Explorer 7.0. Uh, the features just have changed slightly. So what we will do is go ahead and open up an Internet Explorer like I have up and running right now. As you can see, this is the home page to our website. And we're going to go ahead and up in our address bar, we will type in FTP colon slash slash. Now we will type in the URL that we are given to FTP. So in this case, I will FTP to www.ivorymatter.com and we'll hit enter. You'll be presented with this pop-up window that asks you for your credentials. You have two options. If the FTP server allows you to log in anonymously, you can check mark on this box and it will bring up your default email address and username so that you can log in. However, the server that I'm gonna be logging into requires authentication. So let me go ahead and type my username and password. We're gonna go ahead and press the login button which will now take me to the root of this website. As you can see, there's nothing in there. I can then go up under page and say open FTP site in Windows Explorer. This will then prompt you for your username again. I'll go ahead and type in my password and say login. At this point, now what we can see is that the FTP site looks like just a folder on our network. So what I can then do is go ahead and open myself up another Windows Explorer. I can go into my temp directory and I can say, oh, I want to take video list.xml and I would like to put that on my FTP server and I would like to put it in the FTP directory. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and all you got to do is copy and paste as you normally would. You may also drag and drop as I did there. And now just to prove to you that it all did work, we're going to go ahead and browse to www.ivorymatter.com slash FTP, which should now give me, oh, it helps if I can spell it. which should give me my directory listing. Go ahead and click on my video list. And here we go. This is my HTML page that I was doing when I was testing the video uploads. So, as you noticed, this didn't really require Internet Explorer at all, did it? You can use Internet Explorer to be your launching point using the page button over here and going to open FTP site in Windows Explorer. Your other option is to go ahead and take a Windows Explorer that you have already had. You may go to your desktop and right click on my computer. You can also go to your start menu and open up Windows Explorer from there. From there you would just type in FTP colon slash slash ivorymatter.com which again would bring you to the same username and password screen where you may log on anonymously if you'd like. However, you may also save your password. Once you log back on, you will see that here we are, and here's my folder. So now that is how you upload a file. So now let's say that I would like to put these files from the FTP server onto my desktop. All I'm gonna do is drag and drop onto my desktop. It very quickly and easily downloads the files from the FTP server onto your desktop. So there's how you download from the native client in Windows. The final thing that you may want to do is actually remove the files from the FTP server where you can just select a list of them, press your delete button, and press yes. When you press yes, these are now off of the FTP server and they are on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and delete them from there. And that is the simple way to use Internet or Windows Explorer to connect to an FTP server and not have to download any applications that may co contain spyware or adware or 
anything that may be detrimental to your computer. You can also save money by not providing, paying money for a third party client. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment or email us at support at ivorymatter.com. Thank you.